about as many lessons as the Phantom Assassin. Just needs one more to draw even. And that's pretty amazing for a bad rider. Vanscore just jungling away, and so is the Legion command actually. Now Vanscore being gone on, but just look at that. Press the attack, Legion lurking around the corner. Yeah, bullying them away, completely ruining the gank attempt. Now actually Magnus coming in, trying to make something happen, but Noya able to get away with the cogs. Now Rice being chased here. And they glimpse him back. I think Rubik might actually be dead here. Doom, how long on the stun? Alright, never mind. Batrider comes in to help as well. That's the first blood. Rubik going down. Disruptor, King Art dropping low. Batrider will just run him down. Meanwhile, Phantom Assassin. Killing off Noya, shouldn't have closed himself in with PA, PA really dangerous even in early game just because of her pretty good attack damage early on. She got a 1, she's actually winding up, turning around into the bat rider. However now taking heavy damage, managing to blink away once again, Legion Commander, got a heal ready for her. Can use that to just perch off the napalm and there we go. Waiting till the last second trying to bait the enemy up this high ground here, does not happen and and here we go, three man smoke train on the middle lane, about to surround Noya on his clockwork. There will be a teleport in. Oh my god, they decide to go on Magnus. Then they turn back and decide not to go on him, and there we go. Clockwork about to drop here. Two to the disruptor in the end. Teleport getting dragged out of position as well. Glimpse comes in. Now King R, however, being chased by Baby Knight on Shadow Fiend. Meanwhile, Razor killing off the Legion Commander. Van Scorp trying his best to get out of there. Alright, Razor will get the D9 power, however. There we go, big Shadow Fiend ultimate. However, duel on the Razor, and Razor will win the duel! Oh my god, on the back line, Phantom is going down as well. Everything going wrong for Empire. Now Doom getting caught back. Ah, oh, they just want the tower. Pretty significant. And now the mid tower is. It should be falling here if they really want it. Radiance bottom tower is under attack. Alright, it's being let out into everybody here. Uh, not Razor, Phantom Assassin actually. My mistake. Bad Rider hitting the floor in exchange for a great lasso. There we go, beautiful hooks on our fan score. Fan score dropping. No, never mind, he actually survived for a change. Big Magnus goes with two coming out. So many hits and no mana for a duel, but that's still another kill. This is freaking ridiculous. <laughs> oh my god. What is even going on? And just look at the discipline of Team Empire. They're standing exactly where they need to stand. Looking for a duel here, but look at that discoordination. Legion thinking in a way different direction than her big enabled Magnus. That will set up a huge Shadow Fiend ultimate. Van score going down once again. Oh, this is... Oh, the humanity. Tier 2 dropping, but... Empire, no, they just need to keep themselves Radiant's in the game. They take the top tower. They should now get back at the farm. Oh, yeah, they're getting a beautiful combo up. Bad right left of them coming in. Empire has managed to get himself out of the cocks. There we go, duel onto the clockwork. Empire are doing it so far. They're making a comeback into this game. Let's see who it'll hit. Legion should go first. Will go first. Onto Noya. Actually, Phantom Assassin jumping. There we go with the arrows. Lesser coming out of the Doom, but beautiful first to Lesser there. VXP activated. And it's duel from the Legion Commander onto the Razor. Razor going down. That's double kill for the Legion Commander. And the fight is not yet over. Shadow Fiend setting up a pretty good ultimate. Hitting down Vansker. Vansker going down again, but so far he's been second most slam for his team all game long. These one now being on the champion. Champion going down. Petrus is about to hit the floor. Petrus is catching it away. No, she will not be able to. Legion, however, still in a pretty decent position here. Magnus and Disruptor have to get out of there. Legion, come on, heal yourself, bro. You can do it. You can do it, Ben. And yes, Ghostic will get away successfully. 
Thanks to a glimpse, or at least it seems like it. Batrider is still pursuing, and she will go down last second. Oh my god! So close. The fight becomes the three for three trade. Still a free duel. One who thinks that scan, that scan is kind of devaluating the rocket flare of clockwork. Like you got rocket, which basically do exactly the same as the scan. Okay, love the seventeen being just both. Bad right hitting the short first, then disruptor, bad right here. Beautiful duel on the seventeen, seventeen going down, not work as well, and they are not done yet. They're trying to pick up Ace here. Rice trying to save Ace's life. Will go down for it. And Magnus still got the blink there. He got the bit in chase. With the skewer as well, Razor. No, get away, I think. Just a common old fashioned gank. And beautiful four step doom onto the Shadow Fiend. And with that. Alright, Glimpse back onto the Rubik. Rise is such a bad spot. He is going down. DKB up onto the Phantom Set. Now Razor going down as well. No, not quite a dual victory. But he should be dropping here. Ace is dangerously low health. Shadow Fiend also coming out, but everybody manages to evacuate in time. Magnus so far trade for the Rubik. Now Vansker actually going down once again. He's definitely not having his best game. So sad, but not to get it back. Might not be able to get it back. Wait, what the hell's going on? We're actually going to see Shadow Feet fighting on top lane. Razor coming in as well, but that might be a no. Never mind, not a one duel. Bad Rider, Bad Rider got killed, but so did the Legion Commander, as well as the Disruptor. And Chubby now being chased away by the Razor. Ace dishing out huge damage on the Magus as well. Oh my god, the skewer into the cock. Meanwhile, Phantom Assassin's picking up. Oh my god, what's happening? Phantom Assassin's picking up clockwork, and this is ridiculous. This is freaking ridiculous. Rest in peace is doom. Finding anyone? They're so tightly packed, they know exactly. They need a good initiation right now. So they're tightly packed to make sure they get this good initiation, but there is nobody in position. And Imperial, they got good games. They're in a position to fight back, and there we go. They will find the clockwork, but not quite a perfect scenario here to go for a fight. What? Wait, what? Is it? Yeah, it was the decent duel being blocked by Lincoln. And now everybody from Imperial being low, but now Shadow Fiend turns around and changes the tide. And three people down already. Let's see. Oh my god, go stick and Chappy. Chappy should be able to get away. Never mind. Battery is hold still up. And Go Stick, who just cancels his DP to try and save Chappy's life. They might both be going down here. Might not. It would be a beautiful escape if you cancel the DP and then get away with your ally. They're trying to turn around an ace, not succeeding, instead Ghostic will be going down. They try to really risky play there by... Dyer's middle tower is under attack. Dyer's and just look at the tower melting. Shadow Fiends, he got Lincoln's and an Assault Curse. Here we go, beautiful skewer back. However, Shadow Fiends can still just dish out the damage from behind. He now actually taking some heavy damage by the Doom, but Doom has to run away. Time to run. Magnus meanwhile taking heavy damage. Chappie actually went down to the, to the PA being played by Chappie. Chappie doing a great job on his PA. Will be enough. We'll see. Beautiful stun on Ace. My turn to give him the opportunity to turn around. And yes, it will. Just look at Ace melting away. Beautiful. Beautiful stone in RP. Wait. Yeah, that was the stone RP. Oh my god. Everybody going down here. Empire, they were just about to win a fight, and then Rubik stole an RP and turned it all turned it all to dust. And now Team Empire, they go crumbling, but Chevy is still alive, at least for the time being. Will drop the clockwork. Beak to Commander sitting at way too few dual wins to actually matter. Amazing. We're going to see a rapier PA combined with a really unexpected smoke gank. <laughs> Pink's flying, they know the disruptor's there, but here we go! Oh my god! PA chopping away at heroes. Got the blink, blinking out of the damage steel. Damage steel is still great, comes to the divine rapier. 
NPA now taking heavy damage, but there we go. Fuel on the bed right, bed right, will fall. Champion Ultimate, everybody manages to get away. Beautiful evacuation. Benavis still has the Aegis. She can turn, but her damage is stolen. The Disruptor will hit the floor. Two for two trade so far. The Rapier not quite making this fight the amazing. They were, they were just sitting back, making sure they don't go in unscouted territory, since if they were to lose that fight, they'd have a lot of problems. But now their odds are even worse to win the fight. Alright, Doom is going to drop. PA only has cheese, no Aegis, so slightly less reliable on this. Beautiful duel on the Bat Rider. Now reverse polarity on two. That is going to be the clockwork dropping. Shadow Fiend going for an ultimate there. Dropping PA down to half health. And PA went down the rap here to the floor. Leech Guard is still alive. Her Aegis will proc, but the rap here is on the floor. Baby Knight now got the rap here. And Leech Commander being chopped to pieces. <laughs> Shadow Fiend just got a free rap here. We had in the early to mid game on the middle lane where Magnus went in the different direction than the Legion commander and Chappie was just standing back, had no idea who to go on. That kind of things are a typical sign of having standard. And alright, Bad Rider going into a very dangerous spot. However, Shadow Fiend, he got the rep here. They, they tried to get some fuel out of the Shadow Fiend, will not succeed. Beautiful stolen RP there. This Rubik doing so much work. He's coming out from the Venom that's trying to chop down Baby Knight and with a, oh my god, there we go, Rep hitting the floor once again. Right, it's now about to drop Razor as well. They want this Rep here. Selfie buying back, trying to secure it. He secured it. No, never mind, he didn't. That was just shit off damage either way. Razor now going down. Who has the freaking Rep here? And I'm currently wondering about Chappie's items. I'm really wondering about him. I mean, he could be getting... I don't know, there is... Maybe some tank item or so something to keep him alive with those two rapiers rather than boots. I mean... Who gives shit about boots if he didn't give... Oh my god, there's a fight going on in the middle lane and I'm completely missing it. It was Shadow Fiend ultimate committed to somebody. Now PA jumping in with the lead fuel. They are taking down somebody but immediately buy ba buying back. Bad Rider and... Back. Bad Rider, Clockwork, already out of the fight. Doom also committed for the buyback. Not the Razor went down. Now the Ruby going down. And the Shadow Fiend as well. Dieback for the Shadow Fiend. Shadow Fiend down for two minutes. PA gets out, gets out back by the Rubik. But at this point they can just take the engine in one instant GG push. Radiant's middle tower is under attack. Yeah, just look at that. Razor coming back in, taking a huge risk here. Maybe he's certain that it's lost if he can't make anything happen, if he can't delay this push. Right, just gonna get through by the Legion Commander. And now, Razor, he's still 200 damage, but it doesn't matter. It doesn't even matter. And here we go, instant push. The only one left alive is still this Razor, he's trying to delay this push at all costs, but what can he do? Pretty much nothing. There we go, duel and that's GG. Holy crap, Empire did it! I mean, they have all these rushes in chat giving them their power.